Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to automatically create a series or list on Google Sheets. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to automatically create a series or list in Google Sheets. So we're going to use this amazing method, which is easily the easiest step that you can use to get that done, which is using the drag feature for series. That's the auto fill. So select a cell by clicking on the cell where you want to start your series or list so i'm going to use this and okay for example if you want to create a list of numbers go ahead and type one and that's it so once you select the cell where you want to start your series or list go ahead and type the starting value so let's say my starting value is going to be one i want to start a series of numbers so one should be it the next step to do is to select the starting cell by clicking on the cell that contains the starting value, which is one. That is my cell E1. Then in the bottom right corner of that cell, I'm going to click out. So in the bottom right corner, you're going to see a small blue circle, which is here. All right. Then that is the fill handle. So click on the blue circle and drag it down or across to automatically create a series by default google sheets will continue the series incrementally that is one two three four five six in that order so i'm just gonna drag it to this uh oh <laughs> so google's already saying uh google sheet is already giving me like the one 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 okay i think that's because my values are already compromised so i'm just gonna have to delete all of this that has formulas in them and they already have like existing formula and i'm just going to create a blank sheet and see if that works i'm just going to make that my sheet really empty over here and ensure <laughs> i don't get anything wrong at all what i'm doing is to just delete my values of course i can highlight but i just want to do it this way so my starting value one and click out then head over here and drag down and see okay it still shows the 11111 so let's see exactly what is wrong with this all right so having done that and it just appeared to be 111 this is how you can actually rectify it. So if that doesn't work for you, you can now use the sequence function. And how to use the sequence function, just go ahead and select the cell and type in this formula, the equals and sequence, so type in sequence and open your parentheses. Okay, parentheses have already been opened for you, so you don't need to open any. And then 10, that's for 10 cells. We're doing it for 10 cells. So this is the number of cells, that's the number of rows okay and then you click on comma and then select the number of columns one column all right so you can apply as many as you can and then comma and then you start with one this is my starting number and give your space and how many steps do you want it to be so i want to add this by one step so just give me by one step and then you you close your parentheses and click on enter and you see that that has the sequence has been provided for you one two three four so you can do the same for um two step that if you wanted to if you want to create a horizontal series instead of a vertical you can change the formula by doing this so select your cell and sequence so this is sequence and one that's number of rows then 10 then one and then you step one and bracket and click on enter and you see that that has been spread horizontally instead of horizontally instead of vertically so that is it so you can also change the start number and the step okay so you can change it you can just tweak it to however you want it to be and that one will be created like that so that's how you can actually create a series or a list okay so you can now go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i also like it to you know give your kids 
which include um, the auto fill pattern so google sheets can recognize patterns like numbers dates days and months and fill them accordingly and then by entering two initial values for number or dates, you can create custom patterns. So you can use sequence where you need to generate large list or series without dragging. So by following this method, you can easily create series or list in Google Sheet. Now, if you you can go watch the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps, and once you're done, you will be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped your search.